Mm -mm. This is for right now. What's up, you guys? We are live. For right now. So, as you guys observed yesterday, we did these TV trays for Jeff's son's birthday. It is what he wanted, and so that is what he's getting. Um, today, we are going to make them more durable by adding UTC. And if you don't know what UTC is, it is a polyaspheric coating that makes uh, whatever it's on more durable. So it's going to be more scratch resistant even than before. And you don't have to give, be careful sanding because of the silver. Uh, you don't have to give it the... Uh, suggested 30 day cure time you can actually fully use these in two days after applying the UTC you just have to wait no 24 there. hours from when you do the color coat wait 24 hours and then you sand with 220 I thought you had sanded them and so while he is Prepping that piece. I'll show you the piece he's already prepped. This is the board that we poured yesterday. And you can see on it the scratches from sanding it. Trust me, you won't be able to see them. Uh, first time I had to sand a resin piece, it scared me to death because you you could see the scratches. And so it's scary. Okay, it's just scary. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some UTC. For these, we are using uh, the top coat in matte. And I poured this out. It says gloss, but I'm pretty sure that it's the exact same thing. In, I think this is just an old bottle. So now, if you get the gloss or the matte, this one will just say ultimate hybrid coating. If you got the gloss one, it will say gloss really big on it. I could not find that word for the longest time. I felt like such a dum dum. Anyways, the part B in that is the same in both kits. So. So you're gonna need the UTC. You're gonna need some rollers. And we already have these. Okay, it does look like a large feminine product. But um, it's not. It is, be safe driving, Bruce. It is actually our rollers that I taped up. And the reason I did this is because, I'm opening it backwards, because um, you want to get all the lint off of your rollers. These are 9-inch quarter nap rollers. And the nap just means the height of the fuzz that's on the roller. And you wrap them to get any loose fuzzies off because... It's really hard to pick things out of your UTC um, once you have have it down. You can you can pick things out, but it's just easier to go ahead and delint your rollers before you even get started. Prep is key. All of these fuzzies right here would have probably been left behind in our surface. I even go a little bit further and like side Ugh. pull these. Um, I haven't tried it with a velour roller. I didn't even know they made those. I know that um, it's being tested with a foam roller right now. You just want to, if you use something like a foam roller, 
you can do it you just have to basically work a lot of the product off on a side piece before a side piece that's fine Bef well she was saying it's the velours low shed like these just be advised if if it is prone to shedding you really need to get as much of the loose fuzzies off as possible 100% with UTC prep is key in not making you pull your hair out and stress about it because it's a little bit of a stressful and you're dust -free zone. product to work with and try to have a dust free zone so this is a very short working time you've got 15 20 minutes to work with these and you need to have everything ready to go before you even mix your UTC. So I'm going to move all these aside because I don't need them anymore. Ugh, ugh, okay. I'm just sanding this one over here with 220. Yep, Jeff's just scuff sanding everything. So, we got our rollers. You really need, I can't even tell, you need a lot of rollers. You need a roller, rolling pins and have all of them prepped before you get started. So have all the rollers put on, make sure that they spin. Like prepping UTC is, is like, is as much if not more work than cutting a stencil. Because, like, if you think about it, you have to do all this prep for this, and then when you're ready, it just takes seconds, seconds to, to apply, and then you're done. It's like a stencil. You spray it, and you're done. <laughs> that is water. I, yes, here's your this. So, now that Jeff has this piece sanded, he's wiping it off with 91% isopropyl alcohol. He's using 91% because it evaporates faster the higher percent you're working with. And you want to have nothing on your surface when you get started with the UTC. Now, there are a few different ways. It looks like you just made the design do this because you like okay. did that. So there are a lot of different formulas. Rhonda at RK3 has a PDF on her website that has the exact formula for whether you're using gloss or matte. I'm going to tell you my e-science way of doing this. It's worked for us. And here it is. So, <clears throat> it is two to one, part A to part B, equal quantities, two parts A, one part B, and then one part water. So what I do, because numbers are not my friend, they actually hate me most of the time, I just put out what it is. So if it's two to one, then I have two of this and one of this. And if it's also one part water, then I just do one of this. So everything's equal measured. And all I gotta do is put it in a cup together. Because working time is really, really light. Super short. So I'm going to go ahead and put my part A, both part A's, in this cup. Why don't we just put that into that cup? Because I need a bigger cup for the amount of liquid we're about to work with. Ah, uh, yes. So both part A's. In fact, this may not even be big enough. I'm trying not to scrape the sides of these Dixie cups too much because they are wax lined and you don't want that wax to end up in your medium. And then one part B. Now you want to mix this together completely before you start adding the water. So I'm going to give this a couple minute mix. Now you just added the water away. So it doesn't take much to get this small quantity mixed together. Just a minute will do. This might even be too big. It's just gonna soak into that. Hopefully not. 
And actually, yes, this amount is more than what this cup will hold, so I'm getting a bigger cup. Typically, you'd want to mix this, add the water, mix it up, and then pour it out into a rolling pan. This is going to be way too much for these size pieces. I wasn't sure if you wanted to do a... Well, if there's some, then... It doesn't take a lot of this product. So this is the consistency. It's like Mod Podge or like school glue. It's really thick. And if you roll it on this thick, it's going to leave kind of a cloudy hue to it. So you have to add the water. We're going to add the water half now and then mix that in. And then we're going to mix in the other half. I don't have a reason why that is. I just know that that's what I was told and that's what's been working for us. And that's essentially what we teach on this channel is what we do that works for us. Tim, you got your order today? That's awesome. B, is this? You good with this liquidity? I have a little bit of water left over. You want it to be this kind of liquidy. I don't know what to compare it to, but it's it doesn't drip, it, it full flows when you first pour it off of your stir stick. Now, um, Jeff is going to wet roll and dry roll or? Okay, Jeff's gonna be wet rolling. Okay, he is right. Some of it is going to get soaked up into the roller, but that's fine. If you put too much product down, then you're going to have more product to soak up with your dry roller. Once your dry roller... You need more on there? You have about 15 minutes working time. See how cloudy this is right now? If we hadn't mixed the water in... It would look like this and then stay like this. And that is not a good look. But since you mix the water in, it will, as it dries, as it evaporates, it'll lighten up. I'm gonna get you guys in closer so you can see this rolling process. Oh, guess I need the mic. So, these are called lap lines. And lap lines, are from your roller. All right, there's that one. We don't need this anymore, right? We're good. Well, you're gonna need it if you're gonna do your other one. So, what Jeff is about to do is put pressure on this side of the roller, the roller side with the handle, and kind of lighten up on the opposite side and that's going to give a tapered, feathered look. Right now, he is trying to roll out any of the lap lines. And this is going to pull some of the texture off as well. What we're doing right now is pulling product off of the board. I mean, you, know, you may need to wet roll that again in the opposite direction to get rid of some of those. So he's pulling product off of the board by rolling with the dry roller. And once your dry roller gets saturated, it's gonna leave kind of a tacking sound. And at that point, you need to switch out your roller for a new one. You can, yeah, I was gonna say, you can see that well. So when you do this, you want to make I'm, sure... I'm always pushing down on this side. Like, I'm not pushing on this. I, I just do this, and then I'll, I'll, like, almost lean the finger over so this side is getting more, and this side is not getting so much of the... I think you need to roll in the opposite direction because you got... 
we have a hair right here. So I don't know if you guys heard what he was saying, but he's putting pressure on the handle side and not the opposite side. If you run into a situation where you need more time to work on the piece, yeah, if you run into a situation where you can still see some of the lap lines just slightly, then you, it's time to get a new dry roller. It's not picking up the product, it's just moving product from one area to another. Luckily, we prepped plenty of rollers. Also, if you run into a situation where you need more time, you can use an atomizer, which is, here, re -wet, roll it, and then we'll pull it off again. Should I do it this way or this way? Either way, but you're running into time situation. <clears throat> Here, I don't know if you guys can hear that tack sound, but that can indicate that your time is running. But if you need to extend your time, like I was saying a second ago, you can use an atomizer which is a sprayer. I'm trying to see if I can see the one that we have. It's a sprayer that's not a squirt bottle because it mists water instead of like squirt bottle dip. And an atomizer will just, you have a something right there. If you see something in your surface, get it off as quickly as possible, and then you have to re-dry roll it. Sometimes you have to re-wet roll it. I think your issue is you're getting too close to your original line, but that looks good. That looks good. So with UTC, there is a slight texture but it's not so bad that um, it's not so bad that you wouldn't want to use UTC. No. Well, if you're going to do something about it, you have to decide quickly because we're already down to like four minutes left. No way. Like, can we, will it go on like that? Like, yeah, it'll go on. But that stuff, is that... Being that, should I just pour it on there? Yeah, just pour it on there. This is UTC matte. Let me see if I can find the atomizer. Oh, there it is. This is an atomizer. As you can see, it just mists. Is that, that's not the dry roller, is it? Okay. If, like I was saying, if you run into a situation where you need more time, atomize it. Also be, I think you're getting lines on this one because you're not overlapping. Just go the opposite way. Also, if there's any texture in your roller, that will show up on your dry roll. Jeff just put on another roller, so this one isn't saturated with product. You got a line right there. Hold on. So because we're having issues with this one, I'm just going to mist over just a little bit with. That's, that, all the lines are gone. Okay. 
Okay. Will you just, I think you need to roll one more time because I, I missed it. I thought you were going to go again. So misting it with water will extend your time out just a little bit. If you notice that you have a line that you can't get rid of, then just roll in the opposite direction. And also, it's good to roll in the opposite direction some as well because that will prevent spots being missed. Because we've done these before where somehow a spot is missed. It looks good. Somehow a spot is missed and Um, so it, it's all matte except for if you look at it a certain way, it'll look glossy. It's totally weird. Anyways, this one's already starting to clear up. The UTC is drying out, and so it's already looking matte and awesome. You can see that the texture is laying down a bit. Don't put your finger in it. Get tweezers. So you still see some of the texture, but... Honestly, the trade out. Of the durability is. Totally worth it. I don't carry UTC, but you can get it from RK3 or you can get it directly from stonecoatcountertops.com. This is the website right here. And what we use today was ultimate top coat in the natural neutral or the matte it's actually called natural but it gives a matte finish the gloss comes out as kind of satiny not satiny. a not a gloss it's more of a satin and now we're going to take these to the dust free zone because for the next two hours we need to make sure nothing lands in it That would be a great screenshot right there. Uh, for the next two hours, you need to make sure nothing lands in it. And then by eight hours, it will be touchable. And in two days, it'll be full use. You don't have to worry about setting things on it and it leaving rings. It's fully durable now. Well, it will be in two days. It's totally worth it. We now recommend whenever we do tables, TV trays, anything functional, we always recommend putting UTC on because it's just going to give you more longevity to your resin countertops. Bowie agrees. Don't you, my big boy? So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of UTC. Tutorials and that you learned something. I hope it was beneficial for you. It's always beneficial for us. Um, what's up, Sue? We're pricing out your shipment as we speak. Vamp's gotten on to me and it'll get out to you super shortly. It will probably come in a couple different boxes though. Um, Bowie loves the matte UTC. Which one do you guys think you would like better? The gloss? Or satin or the mat. I like the mat best. If you've seen it, then what do you think? It can be put over any resin. It actually is a formula that Stone Coat tweaked for this process, but originally it was to keep graffiti artists from spray painting on walls. So you could write on it with a Sharpie and then wash it off. Fun fact. I tried to do a lip piece on this matte UTC and I did the teeth. You can see some residue of white paint right there. And I masked it off to do the black. And when I pulled the masking off, it pulled all of the black paint off. So I can fully attest to the fact that paint doesn't want to stick to it unless you scuff it and seal it. So um, don't forget you guys tomorrow we are going to be doing our fall sale and 
I hope you guys come to it because we really need to sell some artwork, clear out some space because we have a lot of new inventory coming in, a lot of new products that we want to test and show off for you guys. But I need the room to do it. So, but we said, please come to our show. Please come to our show, please. 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 And um, we will also be having doorbusters, which is a grab bag or a not so mystery box. We'll show you guys what's in it. It's valued at double what we're selling it at. And it's first call it gets it. Anyways, hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, we got to go, but you guys are amazing. Talking to you. And yeah. I hope to see you guys here tomorrow, 6 p.m. for the sale of custom original one-of-a-kind artwork from ATD as well as Vamp will have a few pieces. They're amazing. I've already seen them. And so, yeah, don't make Bowie sad. He'll end up with a stutter if you don't show up. And a st stuttle. What is it in the Big Daddy when he was like, Please help me find my mom or whatever. I don't know. Can't remember. Anyways, beautiful, cute, adorable movie. Super funny. Anyways, 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 I hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are amazing. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.